Hello Grade 5! Welcome back to my channel! It's me, Ma'am Anne! Uh, today, eh, meron na naman tayo panibagong lesson tungkol sa ating Science 5, Quarter 3, Week 4. So, but before that, if you are new to my YouTube channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you will updated if I have a new upload videos this week. Uh, lesson is all about conditions necessary to make a bulb light up. Okay. Our objective in fear the conditions necessary to make the bulb light up. Most households have several devices that make use of electricity. And then, the number of appliances that you have at home shows how important electricity is in our daily lives. Uh, kahit na po mag-inventory kayo ngayon sa bahay nyo, isulat nyo lahat, mga devices nyo, gadgets, or any uh, gamit sa bahay na nangangailangan ng electricity to work. Does electricity flow to your appliances? Paano na dumadalo yung uh, kuryente or yung energy, power energy sa ating mga appliances? So today, malalaman niyo po yan, paano po siya dumaloy. There are two conditions must be met in order to electricity uh, to flow. Meron pong dalawang conditions. First is, there must be a source of electricity. Kailangan talaga yon, Kasi kung wala yung source of energy, yung pinanggagalingan talaga ng kuryente, ay hindi naman talaga gagana ang ating mga appliances, device, and gadgets, and anything. Diba? Kailangan talaga ng source na pinanggagalingan ng ating electricity. And then, number two, second, there must be a complete path for the electricity to flow through. Diba? Kung meron ka ng source ng kuryente, kailangan talaga merong pagdadaluyan sa mga bahay. Lalo na mga outlets, mga wire, and everything. Yun po, para po dumaloy po yung ano. Katulad sa cellphone, paano natin mati-charge yung cellphone? Nangangailangan, natin, nangangailangan tayo ng charger. Um, yung wire na yun na charger, yun na nga. And then, Paano umiila yung mga ring lights? So, meron talaga yung mga outlet na para isaksak sa extension or sa uh, any, uh, any source of electricity. Okay? So, what is circuit? Ano kaya sa tingin nyo yung circuit? What comes in your mind when we uh, say about circuit? Ano yung circuit? Okay. A circuit is a complete loop through which electrical electrical current flows. So, complete talaga siya. Pag may kulang dyan na isa, hindi siya mag-work. And the word circuit comes from the Latin word circuitous, which means go around. So, ibig sabihin, pa, uh, uh, para cycle. From there, from the source, then ikot, papunta na naman sa inyo, ganon, ganon ang flow niya. And it is made up of series of electrical components and conductors. So, sa ating uh, week 3 yata yon yung ins insulators and conductors, silalagay ko yung uh, link nandyan. Or sa ating description box, yung insulators and conductors para meron naman kayong idea kung what is that conductors. A circuit always needs a power source. Ito niya nga, power source. Kailangan natin yan pinanggagalingan ng electricity such as battery and with wires connected to both the positive and negative ends. So, saan natin makikita yan si positive at saka si negative? So, doon po siya sa power source. Tapos, yung wire din natin ganun, may positive, may negative, para mag magkoconnect siya to make the bulb light or to make the electric ano, appliances work. So, kailangan talaga merong positive and negative na para dumadaloy doon yung energy para mag-work or gumagana yung uh, appliances and, and electrical devices. Okay? A circuit can be, a circuit can also contain other electrical components such as bulbs, yung ilaw, buzzer, or motor which allows electricity to pass through. Yung buzzer, yun, ano, kapag may, may earthquake drill size, mga, ano, yung buzzer yun. 
Then, yung motor, yung sa... Marami yan, mechanical yan eh, motor. And then, when uh, current flows in our circuit, electrical energy can do useful work. Kaya nga, uh, it very uh, big help na without the electricity naman, yung circuit, hindi naman din mag-work. So, kailangan talaga unahin muna natin yung, ipiprepare muna natin yung uh, circuit kasi yung source naman ng ating energy is given na. So, kailangan lang natin ipiprepare yung mga materials para makagawa tayo ng isang circuit. Okay. Nagtindihan na po ba? Ang circuit, kailangan ng source, uh, bulb, switch, wire. Yun po. Ako, uh, simple electric circuit has four most important parts. <laughs> Sinabi ko na. Okay, there are four most important parts to make a simple electric circuit. Apat lang po. Apat, sorry. Apat lang po ang kailangan dyan. Una, a source of electric energy. A source of electric energy such as battery or generator. Yan po, battery or generator, yan talagang source of electricity. Pero sa atin, may pang power plant, mga solar, and everything. Marami naman din ngayon, but in our lesson, focus muna tayo sa battery at saka sa generator. Number two, a conductor or uh, connection between the source and the output device such as wire or cable. Yung mga wire, yung mga cable na, hindi yung cable na, ano nga, signal, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Cable yung wire din siya. Parang uh, sinunin siya ng wire. Ano yung una kanina? Source of energy. And the second, second is conductor, which is the wire or cable. Number three. An output device or load such as motor or lamp or bulb. Mga ganun. Pwede siya. Yan ang uh, object na to test if that electricity current flow. Yun po. And the last important parts which is the switch. Ang switch, merong, ang switch diba natin merong on and off. So, again, for our review, we have four, four important parts to make a simple circuit. First, a source, the bulb, the switch and the wire so in uh, in our illustration we have setup a setup b the setup a is closed circuit and the setup b open circuit uh, what is uh, can you different uh, differentiate now uh, between the setup a and setup b so uh, as you can see in our illustration when we say closed, closed. And then, when we say open, open. Okay. So, tingin natin dito, ang closed is very, uh, nag-attach talaga siya at continue yung kanyang pag, uh, current, ay yung, na, continue yung flowing ng kanyang, um, uh, electricity. Unlike sa open circuit, kailangan pa siya i-attach so, sa end of the wire para pa umilaw itong light bulb. Okay? Nakikita niyo na yung deferensya ng dalawa. Si closed circuit, matik na umiilaw na yan. Ito sa setup B, kailangan pa siyang i-attach itong switch dito sa bot, sa end para umilaw itong si light. So, ito na nga po. Yung apat na uh, important parts of electric circuit, ito si battery, Si bulb, si wire, and the switch. Okay. Si closed. Ito si closed. Ito si open. Nagkaintindihan po ba? Okay. The pictures above shows electrical circuits. In the first setup, a wire is attached to the negative end of the battery while the other wire is attached to the positive end. Both wires are attached to the bulb. Such, are, such a circuit is called such a circuit is called a closed circuit. Yun na po. Continue yung ano niya. 
A closed circuit makes the bulb light up because of the path electricity is complete. Ibig sabihin, si closed ay complete yung kanyang path. Yung dinadaan niya. Allowing electricity to flow through it. And electricity flows from the negative terminal of the dry cell. Ang dry cell yan po yung battery. Another kind of circuit is an open circuit. Electricity does not flow in this kind of circuit because there is a gap. Ibig sabihin ng gap? Yung switch yun ha? Or no complete path from one end to the circuit to the other. Okay? Closed, complete, open, incomplete, or no, not complete kasi nandun si switch. Meron siya lang gap. Okay? The switches that you see around our homes are electrical components that can make the circuits of the lights in our homes open or closed. So, to turn on the lights, you have to close the circuit by pushing the switch. Then, to turn off the lights, you have to open the circuit again by pushing the switch. Okay, kailangan natin i-ano yan. Kapag i-on natin yung switch, ibig sabihin, closed ang circuit di on. Okay? Kapag on, ang, uh, kapag on ang switch, closed ang circuit. Kapag off yung switch, open ang circuit. Uh, other causes of gaps or breaks in our open circuit include drain, rusty, or misposition batteries wherein similar ends are connected. Busted bulb and misplaced bulb. Yung mga napunde, yun po. Tapos mabog, yung mga ganon, yung mga nakasya short circuit, yung mga ganon. So, what is a short circuit? Ito talaga kadalasan mangyayari ito sa bahay natin kapag overload na yung uh, mga nakasaksak doon. So, electric cords of our electrical appliances may wear off after some time. And that is the time when the insulation is removed and the wires become bare. Okay, kapag uh, masyadong matagal na siyang nagamit or nangangat-ngat ng mga bait or meron lang mas, minsan lang nagasgas doon sa insulator yung parang rubber na nandun sa mga wire natin kapag mes, medyo na ano yan yun, nakakakuryente talaga din or magkakaroon ng short circuit and magkukos din ng suno yan po so when bare wires touch each other or on one path of the current close parted through this new path are parted to the original path. A short circuit result, we see the circuit is broken when a short circuit occurs sometimes electric socket fail to function. So other appliances may be damaged also and electricity is cut off worse short circuits may cause fire. Ayun na nga. Kapag sure nakakaroon na short circuit yun nag on, on, on and off na siya yun na nga um, nakakasira din siya ng appliances lalo na kapag sa mga brand out na yun patayin na lang natin yung ano or tanggalin sa outlet para safe yung appliances natin unlike kung nakasaksak pa siya tapos nag on, on and off nakakasira talaga siya ng appliances and nakakasama pa nakakos pa siya ng sulo so Sa atin guys, kapag may brand out na turn on, turn, ah, off and on yung kuryente, it's better na po na tanggalin na lang po yung sasaksakan ang lahat ng nakasaksak. Okay, observe natin niya kasi yun nga, para may wasa natin yun, to avoid fire. So, when there is too much current flowing through the wires, the wires may get too hot and cause fire. So, alam na kapag ano, Isa lang yung outlet nyo sa bahay. Tapos marami extension. Naku, delikado yun ha. Delikado yan. Kung ano lang yung makakaya ng voltage ng inyong kuryente, yun lang din ang tamang nakasaksak sa inyo. Okay? Lalo na kapag wala kayong sariling ang tawag na plangka, mga breakers, mga ganon. Naku, mag-overload siya. Sa sabog puputok, kukos din ng sulog. So, and then, the wires may get too hot, causes fires. A fuse is made from materials that easily melt even before the wires carry too much current. In case of short circuits, the fuse melts and breaks the circuit, thus the power is cut off. So, damage of electrical appliances is prevented with the fuse breaks. The only way to get your power back on is to buy a new glass fuse to screw up into the fuse box. So, fuse boxes are usually limited in a number of circuits. 
they could support uh, uh, often leaving no room for expansion of electrical changes. In new building of how or houses, an alternative to the fuse box is a circuit breaker. So a circuit breaker is another safety device that we use instead of a fuse. It is an automatic switch which breaks a circuit. When there is too much current in the wires after connecting the cause of short circuits, circuits breaker can be switched and not complete the circuit. Important talaga meron to yung ganyan sa bahay, yung breaker na yan. Kapag may may isang yung nakaraans dito sa amin na na yun na nga, nasusunog yung outlet namin, umuusok talaga, nasira yung isang electrifier namin, ang una nang namin ginawa, pinuntahan namin yung breaker, in-off namin yan. Para hindi na magdamay-damay. Para hindi namin masunog, off talaga yan. Pag merong something yan sa mga bahay nyo, yan ang una yung puntahan, at i-off yan. Kasi yan talaga ang kokontrol sa dumadaloy ng mga electricity sa inyong bahay. Importante talaga merong ganyan. Meron kayong ganyan sa bahay nyo. So, the circuit breaker panels often the flexibility to spread your loads out over more circuits. Have room for expansion install especially type breakers that the circuit tree inside them to protect your home or building from ground falls that can be used to shocks and even arcs that can lead to destructive fire. Importante yan. In your learning test, multiple choice or write the answer in your answer sheets and there are five questions. Write the letter la. And then in your uh, in, uh, learning test 4.2, match me or the multiple choice. You have uh, you have to match column A to column B. Then the ends write the letters in your answer sheet. Naman. Do not copy them. Okay. In our uh, learning test 4.3, my takeaways. Answer each question carefully. Write your answer in your paper. Para ano lang siya ah uh, para activity niyo. So there are five. So thanks for watching. Keep safe and sad to say extend yung MECQ natin. So mag sa May 14 na matatapos yung yan. walang katapusan. ECQ. So but wait and uh, the answers inside the description box and Thank you for watching guys and if you have a question, reaction, recommendation, suggestion, suggestion uh, leave your comment in our comment section and bye bye, God bless.